In this world of mobile phones in hand, of constant information, messages and breaking news where lies become convenient truths for some. An incoming phone call comes from the forgotten Balkans. An operator tells us, almost whispering, something we don't understand. This is no offer or special promotion. There is no intention to sell and even less to convince. A few manage to listen, but the vast majority interrupts the communication almost immediately. In today's Belgrade, one can breathe and live a perfect atmosphere. Serbian people look to the future in the best possible way. It is a land that has abandoned the worst of its past and embraced the best of the present. Arriving in its capital will surprise more than one person. The delicate and constant presence of its women and the neatness of its streets form a harmonious conjunction in the midst of a social climate permeated by moderation and a practical spirit. Belgrade is a city with an imperial soul. It is a small and big at the same time flirtatious like a Slavic woman and is fully covered in an immense layer of greenery. The whole country and its capital are saddled with an exportable reputation that is often the easiest to create. The Western One, which looks to its more recent past. True or not, exaggerated or underestimated, it does not represent the current reality that people live in the street. Uncomfortable as it may be to hear, Serbia today is a land where opposites live in harmony. It is enough to walk through its streets to perceive that everyone has their place and no one sacrifices or supplants the identities of others. In this new Yugoslavia, everything is integrated without distortion. Walking through its streets, and in particular through its pedestrian areas, is a feast for the eyes. The honor of being Serbian permeates, without haughtiness, the entire city. You can feel it in both the buildings and the people. There is plenty of everything, but nothing feels cramped. With a generous population of over 1.4 million souls, it is one of Europe's most overlooked and unknown capitals. Its size is deceptive and often overlaps with its actual area. The 
city's economic hardship is reflected in its real state. But in spite of this, Belgrade often offers graceful glimpses. Serbia has been able to keep the essence of its past without any effort. The Danube River is par excellence, the city's eternal companion and the umbilical cord that links it to the rest of Europe. To get a good tour of Belgrade, one must wander and browse in the old shops and take time to understand and enjoy the Serbian way of life. There is no rush here. Speed is not synonymous with efficiency and everything is much more relaxed. Besides, enjoyment does not depend directly on the level of consumption. Its treasures are often popular and within the reach of anyone. The simple act of strolling, sitting on a bench or terrace or gazing at graceful silhouettes can be counted as part of its national treasures. Belgrade is a heritage city in its own right. It is full of life and plenty of surprises. Within easy reach of Italy and Austria, it is the perfect stopover to escape from traditional European cities. Serbia, whose official name is the Republic of Serbia, is the former Yugoslavia. It is certainly an uncomfortable prototype for the possibility of serving as a social example for others. It is a modern and traditional country, a state that bears no resentment either for the blows it received or for the virtuous intentions of modern Europe. To get to know Belgrade, is to relieve times of clarity of ideas and absolute concepts. Thank you for coming here. If you liked the video, which I hope you did, remember to subscribe. See you in a future video. Bye!